How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting, and welcome to the loading screen, because we are at the start of the final chapter, which I didn't expect last time. It was an amazing, crazy, heart-wrenching, like, soul-crushing part of the story. But this might be it. Like, I know there's so much more to the game I have yet to explore. I'm probably going to explore it all on my own time, but as far as the series on YouTube goes, we're, we're at the finale. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot more left. Um, I'll probably go back and do all these side stories on my own, but that's not something I'm going to be making tons of space for on YouTube. So when we get to this finale, we're, that's it. We're going to be done. So I don't know if it's going to be this episode or not. I imagine it's going to be a lengthy finale, so I could see it being a couple parts, but it just depends on what they decide to do with it. So yeah, um, if you're a patron or, or a channel member, be ready because uh, it's going to be time for us to vote on the next title uh, we're going to be playing in the Tuesday slot. So if you got ideas, you can post them on the Discord channel or even in the comments of stuff you want me to consider for the next game to play. Uh, obviously, I'm going to put the next Yakuza in the series, which I think is Kiwami, which is a technically the very first public Yakuza game. It's going to be on the list. I want to see this uh, series continue. However, we could deviate, maybe take a break and do something else instead. So I'm going to put up a few options of stuff that I think would be interesting. Um, and because I know for myself, like, because I'll have full control of the Thursday slot, I have a plan for that one, and it is going to be jumping around a bit. Like, we're doing Legend of Heroes Trials in the Sky, and then we're going to do something else for a bit, and then we're going to jump back into the Legend series, because I want to play all those now, because they're amazing. I'm loving that one. So, anyway, enough rambling. I just wanted to kind of get the premise set up. Let's jump in. Black and White, the finale. Oh, Majima. Oh, Majima. At least we got her here, dang it. I, I, I'm I, not gonna hope, but I, I kinda, I have to hope. It's someone dying. And this is in the 80s. Medicine's not as advanced as we are comfortable with. Oh my gosh. What <laughs> Holy crap. Tada Right. もしかしたらこのまま目を覚まさないかもしれません。な、何よと。という状況よ。セラさん。セラ。マジムラ。マキムラマコトの場所を移す。how? Where? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so she's in his group. Or... もう何もないやろ。セラ、誠を頼む。うお、せやから。俺が全部しまいにしたら。は、really? Holy crap. <laughs> right, but if we can get with Kiryu, I bet together they could have a chance. Kamurocho 
渋沢てめえの手柄だ So he is getting credit. I think they implied that last time, but now it's like serious. So, this is what I'm going to do with the people who are going to be able to do it. Uh huh. So, I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. やつらのかげで糸引いてたのは風間の頭ですから道島を裏切ったけじめはきっちりつけねえと示しがつきません OK So he's gonna go after the family? 一緒にいる風間の頭を消すってことかいそんな中途半端なやり方じゃてっぺんなんか取れねえよ He wants to take the whole family 脅し以外はズブの素人だなえぇ、ーてめえなんだその口の聞き方だカザマ組の息がかかったもんは全員だ連中を登場界からきれいさっぱり消さねえ限りキリみたいな跳ねっかりがまた出てくるほら Ironically they kicked him out of the family but they're still holding the family responsible for him Boy, oh boy. Gosh darn it. This is bad. It's going to put everybody in the crosshairs. So essentially, they're going to be forced to exercise themselves from Tojo because they're going to die otherwise. ここにいたのかキリュウニシキ Oh, what's the slow down for? マキムラマコトまだ見つからねえアジア外の連中にも手貸してもらってるが今んとこ手がかりもなしだ It's better that way そうかなあキリュウお前マジマゴロウって男を知ってるか、うん名前だけは聞いたことがあるそいつがどうかしたのかそいつも彼女を探してる風間組の事務所に押し入って柏木さんを一人で叩きのめしたらしいあの柏木さんを真島はその後俺んとこにも来たやられたのかお前はっきり言って歯が立たなかったよそんなやつが誠を探してるのかただその真島は道島組とは別で動いてるあいつは誠を守ろうとしてるようだった敵じゃないのかもしれねえ Good instincts. Good instincts. だからといって仲間とは限らねえとにかく誠を見つけねえことには何もわからねえままだ死んだ立場のためにも彼女だけは何としても守りてそうだな All right, we got that message earlier That number I know, guess I'll have to call back and see who it is 知らねえ番号だ誰からだ God, this frame rate, what's up with that? It's never chugged like this before. Who'd be calling me now? Could be a trap, but I can't afford to sit here watching the clock tick. If there's anything to do with my Makoto is, I'll take the chance. First, I need to find out who it's from. Time to find a payphone. Find a payphone. Alright, so I might bump down the graphics a bit because it feels like it's chunking. Even though, like, I feel like the settings are the same. So give me a second, I'll, I'll figure this. See if that helps straighten it a bit. こんな探してんのに手がかりの人 I know right man Okay Well Oh no I don't want to punch a drunk Just leave me alone Oh Are we really gonna have a side quest now? 
What am I gonna do? I don't want anything to do with the criminal underworld, but I finally got a promotion to manage this place all on my own. Oh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Yes. I'm sorry to spring this on you. But are you for hire? I need someone discreet. Let me show you to my place. Uh, sorry, but I'm not interested in any hanky-panky with you. <laughs> I like how that's where he goes. <laughs> what? Oh, no. That's not what I meant. I, I swear. I need protection. You can provide it. No? Huh? Protection or not, I'm not dealing with, with you. W wait, what? <laughs> oh, I get it. Sorry, I'm, but I'm not the Yakuza. <laughs> y you're not? I'm very sorry. I had the wrong idea. You just have this intimidating aura. See, so I just assumed... Anyway, why do you need the protection? I'm the manager of this restaurant. We're about to add another line of business on the side, and I thought I'd better arrange protection with the local, uh... Boss? Usually business negotiation with that one, with one of the local families. There's no one boss for Kumaro Cho who'd protect you. And with all the land getting bought up in this area, almost all the tenants are gone. No Yakuza family will want to offer you protection. Uh, oh, I'm in bigger trouble than I realized. I know. You seem to know a lot about these things, though. Would you mind giving me some advice? I can't really discuss it in the public. Could we step inside the restaurant? You know what? I am busy, but come on. We gotta do it. Alright, fine. Thank you so much. Please, come this way. I don't know why it's being so slow. It's weird. It's really weird. This is Dragon and Tiger Kumodosha's plant, and the owner that runs the original restaurant in Stone Body. Asaka- Okay, okay! <laughs> Interesting! I like this connection. Sultan Bori, huh? The owner there has devoted most of his time and energy into the secondary line of business, and now he's instructing me to follow suit. What's the business? Uh... I trust he can keep it a secret. Uh, he deals in weapons and other gear of that sort. Mm. Guns, is that it? That's a dangerous trade. Eh. He's a weapons enthusiast. Dealing in weapons and other combat gear from all around the world has been a dream of his. I said enthusiast, but his wife would call him a maniac. He's a network of agents to send him weapons and parts, and he makes his own versions as well. That's a man who's serious about his hobbies. His wife must be quite a character to put up with all that. It seems he met an interesting customer recently, and the encounter breathed new life into a secret trade. He's now single-mindedly pursuing a new goal, which is to provide that unusual customer service customer with the finest equipment he can make or ma find or make. And that's why he's now telling me to sell weapons and gear here as well, to get feedback from Kobodancho buyers and on usability. Mm. Now, that's a pretty tall order. Yeah. I trained to become a chef at his restaurant, Sultan Body. I was aware of his side business, but that doesn't mean I'm comfortable selling weapons myself. He taught me everything I know, so I'll do anything for him, but this, uh... I'm afraid of the police, and even more afraid of the Yakuza coming after me. Is it just weapons and gear? Any other illegal stuff? No, nothing else. But we would also repair worn down or broken weapons, too. Also, when the Southern Body Branch gets something new, the owner will make replicas so we can offer it here at Kobodacho, too. Uh. He must have some real skills. A staff or something, sure, but guns, too. Eh. It's what he spent almost all his time on, after all. But despite his skill, the, sca the sales are meager because he's terribly picky about his new customers. He should follow his example here. One blabber mouth and you'll be in big trouble. You're right. I know. In that case, would you be our first customer? Nani. Are you serious? Dead serious. You seem tight-lipped, and having a regular customer like you would come in handy in case we do run into trouble with the Yakuza. I don't know much fancy being their much fancy being their go-to guy for Yakuza problems, but it might need some sort of equipment. And it's not like there's a lot of other shops like this. Uh. Fine, it's a deal. I'll come by when I need something. The name's Kiryu. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Kiryu-san, the owner will be delighted when I tell him the news. You can now purchase, sell, and repair equipment at Dragon and Tiger Kumarocho. Speaking of which... Let me buy equipment. That's pretty good. Okay, so that wasn't even, like, much of a mission. It's just simply, like, a replication of what's in Kumarocho. Convenient, that. <coughs> Sore throat. Oh, that is a dead end. <laughs> Alright, so this is the dangerous side to be turning up on, but we'll go this way. Alright, here we go. 
All right. Let's give him a call back. ああ。そっちは。二教練の世羅だ。世羅さん。あなただったんですか。We're gonna connect us together. <laughs> Of course they are. Guess that is in Kumarotra too. Need to meet him in Little Asia. Alright. Here we go. Let's get this party started, shall we? Tight angles kind of terrible, terrifying. Hey, Sara. Hey, Chen. Kiryu san. Anta no jaku wa achi da. Chen's good people. He's a bunch of boss and cold, but fair. Tachibana san wa zannen datta. Saigo ni hitome demo.妹と合わせてやりたかったな。Tell Oh, that heater looks awesome. Hey, Sara. Sara might be my favorite character besides the main cast. I don't want to talk to you. 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 意識不明のままだ。何があったんです。So what are we gonna hear? Are we gonna hear the truth, or is it going to be twisted? それじゃ、彼女は目が見えるようになっていた。少し光を感じる程度だがな。それより幸い同島組はもう彼女を殺せたものと思っている。早速、カムロ町再開発計画の本格着手に動き出した。しばらく彼女に危険はないだろう。For あいつはもともと島野の命令で牧村誠を殺すように動いていた男だが、今新祖国彼女を守ろうとしている。ただ、この先どう動くかはっきりはわからん。それより道島組だ。若頭補佐の渋沢が道島組の次期若頭に決ま
希望<笑>牧村誠の意識が戻れば空の一つぼは日教連が取るえそしてそれが風間さんの真の狙いだなんだとあの人は今堂島組の拡大を止められる唯一の対抗勢力として、okay, 俺の日教連に白羽の矢を立てた。立花も空の一つを日教連に渡そうと動いていた。すべてはこの俺を堂島総兵に代わる登場会の跡目に据えるためだ。Really? それじゃ。おやさんはあなたに登場会を託したってことだ。That's an そういうことになるな。知りませんでした。I mean, he'd be a good head, though. あなたとおやさんにはそこまでのつながりか。俺もお前ほどじゃないが、風間さんには世話になってきた。俺に極道のイロハを仕込んでくれたのはあの人だ。足を向けては寝られない。So, where the other Yakuza bosses, you can think of them at k u z e built his empire off of intimidation. Like, you resist, you die, or at least wish you could die.、Um, Amane, I think, is the purple suit guy. He's all about extortion. He's about putting pressure on people. He's about、uh, going after, like, not the, the person directly. Like, Kuze goes after the person and punishes them. Amane goes after the family, the loved ones. Like, he, he puts pressure on the ones you want to protect. That's kind of his racket, is about extortion.、Um, Shubasawa is all about moving in the shadows, gathering information, outplaying and outmaneuvering people. So he's all about, and apparently his next step is about showing a strength, you know?、Um, decisive, quick, and thorough attack. Uh, uh, Ka- uh, Kazuma? Okay, wait, I keep forgetting because we only talk about him occasionally, but whoever, like, the, essentially the, the father of Kiryu is, he. Works through long term plans. Because look at the kind of people he cultivates. He didn't cultivate a massive army. He doesn't cultivate a bunch of thugs. He doesn't have an information network. He has loyalty. He takes people whom he sees skill and talent and he brings them up. Not because, not, but not in a way to be like, you owe me. He's like, I think you have potential. I'm going to teach you what you need to do and let you be yourself. And with that, he garners like a, fa- like a family feel, which is kind of funny because that's kind of what this Yakuza seems to be missing. In all the bickering and inner fighting, they've lost what they- makes the Yakuza powerful, which is family. This idea that you have each other's backs no matter what. This idea that you can trust each other no matter what. That's kind of falling apart in, this, in the, in the Dojima, fam-、uh, Dojima uh, uh, clan. So, like, my- that might be why he's kind of trying to make the movies he has. So, who are his top people? Kiryu. Nishiki, who are both people who he raised as orphans, essentially being their father, kind of getting them that father figure and in turn getting that loyalty. And now,、um, gosh darn it, I know his name. Sagawa?、Um, he was also brought up and given that trust. Maybe not like as orphans, but like as a young Yakuza, he took him under his wing and said, You have potential. I'm going to teach you how to do things. And I'm going to help encourage you in what you decide to expe- excel in. And he excelled in this, like, kind of shadow hit organization that goes like the Shadow Yakuza. And now he's going to be trying to set him up to take over for the whole family. And that puts him, it, like, it's, like, it's like, I'm not sure which is the best.、Uh, Sagasa- uh, Sabusawa's like, information network seems like what I would. Be more inclined towards as an individual if I were in a position of power in a Yakuza. Granted, I would be killed long before I got there, but I'd like to think that's the approach I would go for controlling information,、um, moving before, like making predictive movements and trying to like outplay your opponents before they even know that they should be making a move. But if I have to go be honest, I think the best one is this loyalty based system. <coughs> お前のことも風間さんからくれぐれもと頼まれてる殺しの濡れ衣の件もいずれ俺が必ず何とかするだが今牧村誠が目を覚ますのを祈るしかないのが現実だそれじゃ
Well, if you want to keep your family alive. お前が what about the family, though? You gotta, you gotta warn your family. Like, let tell them to get out of town because they're they're under the gun right now. I guess he doesn't know that for sure. I feel like we're gonna find the building on fire. Guess there's really nothing more I can do. I should meet up with Nishiki for now. If you head to West Park, I'll run into him eventually. If I head to West Park. Oh boy, I don't like where this is going. Oh, oh, it's really choking me through this way. It's like a little instance. Oh, oh, and look, there's a welcome party. Like, uh, I'll have to take care of these guys real quick, one sec. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a finisher. I am still getting a little chunkiness, so I might drop the, the graphics a bit more because it, it feels like too chunky. All the blue lights on the classier love hotels. Oh, it's a property I haven't found yet. Bitch, I don't have enough. I'll have to come back for you later. It's still chunking. I'll have to drop it again. Nishiki. What was that? What happened? The Kazamagumi team is the Kazamagumi team. I'm going to Oh boy. What? Shibusawa was the time of the Kazamagumi team. I'm going to kill the Kazamagumi team of the Kazamagumi team.俺もお前も的になってるはずだぜ。号令かけてんのは渋沢ってことか。すぐ街の中同時マグミで溢れる。It's so chunky. I'm ニシキ、マキムラマコトは日強連の世良が保護してた。同時マグミは彼女を殺して、空の一粒に肩がついたと思っている。だが彼女が生きている限り、空の一粒は空と風間の親さんの切り札になる。同時マグミを抑えつけ
Oh, fetch me. Get that way. Whew. Wonder how the Cosmo family guys are holding up. I hope they make, they make it out okay. Go to the Cosmo family office. I have a bad feeling about this, but I gotta get myself to a payphone save and try and reload real quick. Okay, did a little tweaking in the background. I'm thinking this should help. I, I really hope I'm right, because I don't want this to be a slog for the rest of the game. I'm gonna try and get stay away from you guys. Should I go check on the business real quick before I forget all the way down there? Yeah, let's go check on the business real quick. It might not let me. Yep, it won't let me. Okay. <laughs> no time to play around the office. We gotta go watch our home burn down. Here it goes. It's gonna be on fire, I guarantee it. Like, I'm 90% sure. Oh, you again. Kuze. What's up, buddy? Anta uh. Hitorika. Okay. <clears throat> How many times am I gonna have to beat this guy up before he just learns his lesson? Kumi no ninge wa hikaseta. Oh, so you were just messing around these time I beat your butt. God, why is it so slow again? シマツするに決まってんだろ。風間組もおめえも。今その式取ってんのは渋沢だがな。誰がやったって佐藤も難しい仕事じゃねえ。道島組はもう登場会ごと下に収め地まうっちゅう勢いだからな。ああ、sure
Yeah, look at those frames drop. Now, what's going on here? Oh my gosh! He's really kicking my butt this time! <laughs> I have a traffic cone! What? I was clicking the button! Oh, okay. Not taking the risk. Drink! Not done yet. Oh, wow. Okay. A little anticlimactic ending there, but he got me drinking the drinks. It's like the first fight I really had to do that for. Call the frames. Kuzeno, Aniki. I'm the one who knows. Kazama no Kashiro. お前がこうやって本物の極道になるのをずっと抑え続けていた。I could see that. その封印を解いちまったんだよ。道島組は。お前の他にもう一人。そいつも今本物の極道になろうと必死に燃えてる。いや。日教連逃げ切り。そこに奴が。渋沢がいる。渋沢が。日教連に。That would that would be bad. Makimura Magoto Ikhtirungro. She was a Korosia new now to Sertogi. Wada to Shinane on the stars. Mada Dojima no Yajin say. Oh, Shinea Shina. Oh, set up and betrayed too. Children, you know, Kako Sate. Rent you, Oyoga Satanda. その味と突き止めるためにな Oh no なんだと? 女もセラもおめえも風間の頭の意見がかかってる人間は全員寝台しにするそうやって渋沢は初めて道島の頭になれる本物の極道に錦今、アジアガイから連絡があった渋沢が道島組を芝浦に向かわせてるらしいもしかして日教連は芝浦にいるのかああ、誠もそこにいるマジかよ
ならすぐ行こうぜキル車回してくるからよ Why is it so slow? 分かってんだろうなキリュウてめえは極道の一番深いところに足突っ込むとしてる風間の頭が止めたその道をこのまま進む覚悟があるんだったら行けや It's so out of sync. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so painful. Eh. Zenbu Kakugo no Uedes. Kuze no Aniki. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. What is going on though? Like, I am gonna have to investigate what's happening with my computer right now. Okay. Million yen machine, go for it. Wow, nice. Okay, so I am going to. I'm probably gonna end it here. It's not the best place to end things, but it looks pretty promising. I'm gonna go ahead and end it because it's a decent place to end. The weird computer stuff's going on. I'm gonna have to investigate it, so give me some time to do that. Hopefully, I'll have an answer for it. But in the meantime, thank you so much for being here today. And craps hit the fan pretty solid. I didn't even expect it to be this severe, but yeah, Shibisawa is really—he's more competent than I expected, actually. Like Sada seems really good at working under the cloak and shadow, but Shibisawa has kind of got his number there, so it's gonna get gonna get pretty bad, isn't it? I'm really nervous to see how this is all going to play out, actually, because it's not been nice. It hasn't pulled its punches, so if really anything could happen, the most I can be confident about is that Kiryu is going to be okay because he has to survive to the next game because he's the main character. But that doesn't mean they can't take the, some of the most important things in his life. So, yeah, well, it's up to see. Anyway, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm, I'm happy to be doing this again and being back, so... Yeah, this is definitely a shorter episode. I do apologize for that. But again, like you saw that you saw the frame rates there. That's not acceptable. Like, I don't know why that was so different. I'm going to have to just do some digging and figure out what the heck's going on. Because I even I dropped the the graphics down, but it doesn't seem to have done anything. So we'll have to see. Anyway, I'll play around with it. So until the next video, watch me. See me next. I'll see you there.